Do you know how to speak to a girl? Listen, my son. In the next few minutes, what you're about to learn just might shock you. It might sound scary, but it might also forever change your life and how you interact with girls. Are you ready for that? Listen. In this world that we live in, there are rules that we must follow. Break some of these rules and you will end up in a cold, dark place that serves terrible food. These are laws and they are the visible rules. But there is a second set of rules which aren't quite as obvious. Breaking the second set of rules won't put you behind bars. And in fact, it might actually help you to overcome one of the biggest problems that many guys struggle with, which is talking to girls. This hidden set of rules exists everywhere in society because it was created by society. To truly understand how this works, it is important to note the two main forms of communication used by humans. I teach you the secrets to speak to any woman and make her like you. Number one, indirect communication. The first form of communication is called indirect communication. And it's the primary form of communication used by girls, but also by most people. In society, the entire purpose of indirect communication is simply to say something without actually saying it. And it's basically used as a safeguard to prevent someone from coming off as rude, while indirect communication can actually be incredibly useful in certain situations. In many cases, it can do much more harm than good, especially if you're a guy. Think about the last time that you got turned down for something. Maybe it was a girl you liked, and when you asked her out, she said something like, you're cute, but I'm not interested. It's a pathetic lie. If she finds you cute, she will be interested. Most of the time, she won't actually say, sorry, I'm not attracted to you physically. But that's probably the real reason why she said no. Using indirect communication, she basically said, I don't like you without actually saying that. Listen, to fully understand how we should proceed, we must first understand the origins of both types of communication. Number two, direct communication. Indirect communication traditionally is a feminine form of communication, and it is the default setting for most girls. Instead, direct communication is the total opposite. And up until the last few decades, it was the primary form of communication used by guys and real men. Direct and precise language. Today, however, indirect communication is gradually becoming the default setting for many guys. And this is where problems can arise when talking to girls and even other guys. So many dudes get it wrong. Don't use indirect language or you will be considered weak. Think about it. Imagine you're in a restaurant and the waitress asks you if you're ready to order. Many guys will say, sorry, can I have the pepperoni pizza, please? And later they act surprised when the waitress isn't attracted to them. When the guy says, sorry, can I have the pepperoni pizza, please? He does it in a way that makes him sound as if he's asking the waitress's permission. Now imagine once again, the waitress asks what you would like to eat today. And instead of asking if you can have the pizza, you say, yes, I'll take the pepperoni pizza. You're not asking her permission. You're basically telling her that you're going to take the pepperoni pizza, whether she likes it or not. Using direct communication, you sound more determined and secure. Number three, the tone makes the difference. Listen, my son, how you say something matters, but the tone of voice that you use is even more important than what you actually say. Using both the tone of your voice and the actual words is the key to attract girls. It is important to remember that attraction is an impulse, so girls and guys have zero control over it. When you speak directly and powerfully, you are pressing that little attraction button that is inside most girls' minds. Think about the brave guy who plays in action movies and how they speak in those movies. Most of the time they use very direct communication, especially with the ladies. And they act as if everything that they say is important. In the simple act of simply believing that every word that you have to say is important actually makes it sound important. This is the complete opposite of the way girls talk and it is the most attractive way that you can speak around girls. For example, imagine you're walking outside with a girl and she says to you, it's very cold in here. Chances are she's indirectly hinting at you to let her wear your jacket or have your attention. Listen, direct communication is masculine, be like a warrior, and indirect communication is feminine. And the more feminine a man appears, the less attraction most girls will feel towards him, except for girls who are more masculine. Since girls are from an evolutionary standpoint more vulnerable than guys, they tend to avoid conflict, which is the driving force behind their indirect communication. Don't misunderstand my words. Now it's possible to flirt with girls using indirect communication, but to succeed, 
The majority of the interaction should be using direct, straightforward communication. The funny thing is that girls actually want guys to talk to them like this. They want a straightforward language. A great example of direct communication is, I want you to go to the dance with me tonight, instead of saying, will you go to the dance with me? Asking a girl out indirectly is cute in a Disney movie, but it's not the optimal choice for real life. Listen, this is a huge advantage for the guys who do it right. Number four, be a warrior, not a boy. Listen, my son, the benefits of powerful direct communication are not just with girls. Speaking directly and powerfully will gain you respect from other men, especially from those weaker who primarily communicate indirectly. Direct communication is one of the main traits of a dominant male. And it is one of the most important things for showing confidence and assertiveness. You want to be an alpha male or a weak beta? Listen. The key is to speak directly with not just girls, but also with other guys. Be optimistic while you speak. This means being optimistic with whatever you're saying. In other words, the tone of your voice should sound as if you're 100% confident that the other person is going to comply or agree with what you said by simply having positive expectations from the start in a given situation. It is more likely to end in your favor. And the same is true for negative expectations. How to speak in a direct way, all that you have to do is start any sentence where you're asking for something with the letter I, not may, sorry, etc., and use more statements than questions. Listen, when you state something to somebody as if it's a fact, it shows that you have confidence and courage because you are standing up for something that could be met with disapproval by everyone around you. So many guys in today's society speak indirectly because modern society fools you. They say it's the polite thing to do. But the truth is that oftentimes, the politest way to speak or handle the situation is also the most unattractive way for a man to do so. Talking is something that we spend most of our time doing, so the sooner you can start talking more like a warrior, the sooner girls and guys will start to see you as one. If you spent most of your life speaking indirectly and non-powerfully, then they will disrespect you when you get out there and start practicing it, much the same way as riding a bike. The first time you feel totally foreign and insecure, but with practice you get better. When you try and fail, you improve. Feeling uncomfortable is good because it's the only time that you're actually growing as a person. Listen, if it doesn't challenge you, it won't let you grow. When you see a big movie in the theater, you only see the finished product. What you don't see is the repetition and the countless takes that were required for the finished product. Girls don't care if you used to be a shy, insecure guy in the past, in the same way that you would still be attracted to a girl who used to be incredibly overweight. As long as she's at a healthy, attractive weight now, all that matters is who you are now and who you can grow to become. And if you're into business, making money or success, be the others perceive you as strong and determined. Speak direct and with a steady tone.